Hello and welcome everyone to part 45 of the Marathon Confederacy Let's Play for Empire Total War with Darth Maud. This is a one hour special and if some of you are scratching your heads thinking, hang on a minute, you do hour specials every 10 parts, this isn't every 10, the next part, hour special should be at part 50. Well, this is in part because this is Operation Otto Gone. Ha ha ha! Where I'm hoping that we will at least initiate, well we most definitely will in initiate in a few minutes time, the beginning of the end for the Ottomans. I don't think we'll be able to completely wipe them out in this video. We might uh, succeed in doing that next part. I plan on fighting around three battles uh, at the various uh, Ottoman lands and strongholds. I'm not looking to go up against these huge stacks because that would be one, suicidal, um, because they actually have better troops than me in well, not better truth in some cases, but it's going to be a constant grind down of my force, and then I won't have enough to take these settlements. The reason why I've, you know, enacted the strategy that I have is to avoid all that and to take out their cities and annihilate their armies, um, well, without having to fight battles against them. The only battles against armies I'm planning on fighting are the ones which are just outside the city to pull all the force out or um, to you know, to take a city, to, to take out the garrison. The battles I will be looking to fight are the ones at Istanbul, which does have fortified walls, which I absolutely hate, so enjoy that one, guys. Um, won't be fighting more on Athens. I'm not planning to anyway. We'll probably fight either at Damascus or Cairo, and we'll be fighting Baghdad. Now, we may have to fight some other ones. These are just the ones that I plan on fighting so that you guys get a nice show, as it were, out of Operation Otto Gone. Um... But we may have to fight other ones. You know, I might have to fight all of them myself just because the odds aren't that favourable for the auto-resolve. So, yeah, we will uh, we will see what happens. But the key thing is that this all has to happen in one turn. Not one part, as in one video, because it may take multiple parts. But one turn. I cannot hit end turn until I've taken out the Ottomans. Otherwise, all these stacks that I'm trying to avoid will just mob me. And maybe I'll be able to defeat half of them. Maybe I'll defeat, be able to defeat all of them, but if just one survives and can take a settlement from me, the Ottomans are not dead, and yeah, that kind of breaks the whole plan. Uh, what I will do, though, is include the save game down in the description for you guys if you want to try and take on, especially these guys, if you want to try and take on the Death Clump, uh, feel free to make a video about it as well and like send it to me. I'd be more than happy to uh, to take a look at how you guys fare against these stacks, and maybe, maybe at some point I will do this as a bonus episode. I will fight this death clump. But I don't honestly think I can take them out and get to there. Um, not so worried about necessarily performance issues, although there would potentially be a huge amount of stutter there, which I like to avoid where possible. But I know you guys want to see big, huge, epic battles. Hopefully we'll get that in one or two of the sieges. Um, going forward, you know, I won't be looking to shy away from fights like this. Just trying to deal with the Ottoman Empire. As I've explained over the past few parts, this seems to be the best strategy to cripple them in one, you know, strike, basically. In one whole turn strike. But for those of you that want to take on that challenge, the Ottogon Challenge, I will call it, you can find the same game down in the description. I'm, I've made a new install video for Empire Total War with Darth Mod. Or how to install Darth Mod for Empire Total War. That will be out later this week. So if you can't work out how to install it, then um, check out that install video, which I said, yeah, out by the end of the week as well. I'm looking to do one for Third Age as well. So, before we get started with Operation Otto Gun, we've got obviously the notifications down the side, so I'll quickly look through here. You may notice that my income isn't that high at the moment. Obviously, I've been recruiting a lot of troops, and my trade is getting wrecked. Once we take the Ottoman lands, I will be looking to re-establish naval dominance uh, over here. I'll talk about my plans against potentially Austria and the, the Dutch and uh, what we'll be doing with the French later on, either in this episode or the next one once the Ottomans are gone. So, technological advances. Oh, that's actually quite important. I was several turns on, finally managed to get through it all. Ah, oh no! Deepak Jeldi has died of natural causes. He was going to lead the final charge against Istanbul. His replacement is... Daulat... Tro Sestri probably butchered that. I know Humble Pear will be saddened to hear of Jeldi's uh, passing. New town emerges. Uh, we're gonna craft workshop be. Yeah, those uh, research are very important because we're moving on to kind of our final stages of um, of university. Actually, is that one gonna research? No, that one's better. Our final stages of research in the fact that I'm actually running out of technology to research. We can see we're about to finish off that one, and then we're all good. We've got abolition of slavery, which of course will have 
you know, all these will have tweaked incomes and things like that. But yes, we need to upgrade steam power factories before we can get those two. So we need, if we wanted to research both those at the same time, we need two universities. We don't need any more for there once that one's done. And then we've got, uh, well, they're off. That's three technically on that line, and we need that one there. We've got the Naval Academy. Why can't we get that? Oh, we need machined rifling first. So what I'm going to do is get rid of anything that's not a traditional university first. So what we're actually going to do is tell you guys to stop researching that. You're going to go on to researching that. You're just a college, so you are going to be destroyed. Also, we have a revolution, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a moment. Um, you're just a college as well. Have you got any other full traditional universities that are not doing anything? Yes. You can go as well. That's what's upsetting my Zor. Okay, still going to take five turns, but still. Now the problem. Oh, wait, hang on, actually. You're a college as well, yeah. Um, so, where is this one? Oh, way up in Russia. That one's over there. I'm just working out where I can send my... Yeah. My agents that are no longer needed. Over you go. You're being destroyed, both of you. You're researching. And then these guys. Where is this one? That one's over here. That's where I'm sending this agent. Cool. So yeah, we'll keep those ones to research through these quickly. We need to upgrade buildings to get that first. In fact, we need to actually build that. Uh, although, not much point in building it here. We might as well build it on the... F well, you can build it over here. Persia. There we go. Right, so yes, we have a revolution. I'm just going to finish these guys off. Because I spammed out some troops during the end turn. A victory. Revolution defeated. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Thrice times. Huzzah. Everyone's slightly happier. Clamor for reform has gone down a smidge. I don't know if that's increased our popularity. It has. Jolly good. Mysore is still a little bit upset. But again, once we can get rid of these universities, which we are demolishing here, because this has minus five happiness and clamor for reform, then we'll be okay. But... It may well be, it may well be, I mean, Tarabe is, or Thorabe rather, uh, is rather old. She's 79 uh, as the empress of the Marathon Empire. She has overseen it develop from a tiny little cluster of, what, two or three settlements to start with to the near conquest of the entirety of India. I mean, I think the conquest of the whole of India will remain out of her grasp. She will most likely die before that is possible. But she has established an empire that reaches from India to Europe. She has destroyed Russia, and she is about to sanction the destruction of the Ottoman Empire, potentially the biggest rivals to the Marathans now. So, she has achieved a fair bit in her time garnered the respect of a man-eating tiger and a sacred cow. And she does have those to follow on from her. I assume it would go to her eldest son, but I don't know if this is just more for show this royal family or whether it actually will follow on correctly. Um, but, despite that, most likely it would be a good idea next time we get a revolution to actually side with the rebels and try and take the capital because uh, we want to change from an absolute monarchy to a constitutional uh, monarchy. We still want to have. I still want to have a monarch. I don't want to make this a republic. Um, but yes, I think we want to have constitutional monarchy, which will lessen clamor reform. We'll still have a monarch. Um, we'll still have an empress or an emperor. So we'll see. We shall see how that goes. Share your thoughts on that. But we'll deal with that another time. Anyway, now is the time to initiate Operation Ocho Gone. We're not going to build any more units down here. We've got some these guys which I was going to bring up but I forgot so I've you can see I've moved my armies actually away from the some of the key cities which has actually drawn these armies away they like to like cluster and blob near my forces bless them but anyway we are going to go in and we're going to try and auto resolve or do the auto resolve battle um, sections first and just get those over and done with if we need to fight them then we'll then we'll do that but we um we shall see we need to do, but before we declare war on them, we need to move all these armies back around the various settlements. Otherwise, when I do declare war, these guys won't be able to get past because they'll be blocked and intercepted. And we don't want that. So again, all key about making sure I do these strikes in one single turn. Otherwise, we are screwed. I say get the other side of the bridge. Alright, now to declare war. Well, I guess it's only... 
Kind of only makes sense. Well, where's the, where's the first strike going to occur? I think it will happen in Jerusalem. Declare war. Now, I could call my allies. I'm going to call my allies because I want to see who stays with me and who doesn't. Be interesting to see, actually, if Sweden potentially, what they do. This is going to be... I didn't actually think about this before now. Totally forgot about allies. It is taking the AI a long time to work out who's doing what. Ottomans and France have had their alliance broken. Sweden broken. Trade agreement with Barbary States. Yes, of course, they're their clients. So that will happen. Right, so they've been joined by Venice and the Barbary States. And I've been joined by Spain. Uh, and my allies, Portugal, Sweden, and France have decided to stay out of it. That is totally fine. May even be able to demand some surrenders. We have a victory. The first victory. Jerusalem is mine. Okay. Of course, we could bring these armies up here now to actually help take further ones, but we may end up getting rebellions. We are going to get a lot of rebellions, I'd have thought. Um, yeah, we could, we're going to have to probably fight the one at Damascus, I'd have thought. Now, this one is one I'm not sure about of how we'll, how we'll do. Surrender refused. I'm just going to continue the siege because I want to take these guys out first. They can't be reinforced, so they can be annihilated. I mean, obviously, the auto resolve is not the best option there. Cairo. Victory! Boom! Right, Cairo falls. Operation Otto gone. Region captured. Surgeon gained. Mentioned in dispatches. I haven't even checked actually where my kind of where my generals are really. That's that one. He's a new one because someone died. Don't work out where my kind of historic old guard are. There's not many of them left. Jeldi was one of the last ones. Uh, it must be one of the ones up here maybe. Oh, these guys are one stars. Oh, leg, leg, leg. There he must be one. Yeah. Probably one of my last. Oh, this guy maybe as well. Yeah. Pasal Car. The one, that, the phantom. The phantom that could not be killed. Uh, we'll try it for Athens as well. We've got to worry about Venice now. That we're, um, annoyingly, we're at war with them. They've got a fair few stacks down here. We can probably force them into peace. Oh, we had to move around here, did you? Okay, and you guys... Oh, you're being reinforced by Venice. Damn. That is really annoying. Right, I need to get peace with Venice. I don't have any money to really negotiate with, which is very, very annoying. Ah, uh, damn. Come on. Technologies. I can offer you all of this for peace. I really don't care. Yeah, they're going to accept it. Thank you. I'm friendly, but now they will not join in, which means I am free to annihilate Athens. Region captured, and Greece is mine, and we have peace. I've given them loads of technology, but that's fine. They don't pose a proper threat. Just don't want them on my doorstep. Um, I'm not looking to spend any money on like repairing this turn because, well, most likely we're not going to be able to. Um, the only thing is I am maybe... Need to look into your ports, which hopefully open up some new trade routes. Right, we have this settlement here, which I was looking to go in against. We're going to strike here. Continue the siege and take these guys out, outside the walls. Go risk it for a chocolate biscuit. I mean, this should skyrocket our income. Should, he says. This one's earning 11k on its own. Getting 3k of that in taxes. We are going to have a lot of public order problems. But as you can see, we have now cut the Ottomans down so, so very hard. Now, the final one I want to auto-resolve is this one here. And then we will get into those all-important battles. And the thing is, without this being 40 unit saves, you're never going to get those truly epic battles. Uh, kind of anyway, so I know some of you are like, oh, 17,000 Lionheart versus 6,000. Oh, it would have been great to see that. But you wouldn't get them all on at the same time because they have to come in 20 by 20. Because um, I don't have 40. Um, and why did... Are they just like the, the remnants? What happened there? God, it takes it a while to work out that you've taken the settlement. 
almost worryingly so I'm like, did we did it just freeze? I'm like, can I use these armies anywhere else? No, not at the moment. I don't know why that army ran over there. We've taken yet another, which is good. Right. So there are three cities remaining that the Ottomans still control. Damascus, Baghdad, and Istanbul. Right, we're going to go for Istanbul first. Oh, the start of many. I mean, we probably only get through maybe two battles in this, in fact. I mean, maybe, maybe we don't need to fight the Damascus one. We'll see. I'd definitely fight Baghdad. I've got rockets and that elephant army I want to bring in. I'm gonna need these cannons though. These are gonna be these are like well, not actually no, we wouldn't need them for the not wall breakers. Oh, these guys though with the elephants. I kind of do just want to send, actually attack with the elephant army first and just go crazy war war elephant charge there. But I think we've got to do this properly. We've got to go in for um, Istanbul first. I'm gonna take these guys down. Worth a worth a shot. But this this army what was um, Deepak Jeldi's army will be the one to strike. Uh, actually, where well, I say that, it's actually a really bad idea because he has no cannon to destroy the walls. These guys should actually strike. Unless, of course, I share these cannons with you. Oh, of course you would. Of course you would, cannons. Now I have no cannons in here. Ah, of course you would go the other way, cannons. Right, well, we're going to have to fight anyway. In we go, but first I'm going to save because it's very likely to crash. I would have thought it would be my luck. Right, well, we have nothing to break down the walls, so we're just going to have to assault the walls. In we go, because I've moved my cannons away. That's, uh, that's a lot of fun. Okay, pathfinding fail! Should be able to move round, but no, 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 no. You forgot it was Empire. Let's do this! Crippled the Ottomans so far with sheer military might. This is gonna be tougher. If we can if they do draw out though, that would be grand. I'm gonna have to shell them for a bit. And then find a way to breach their walls and dive on in. I'm looking forward to the war elephant charge though at Baghdad. That's well, quite a big fort. I mean we can use grappling hooks. Just um, I'm, I'm maybe maybe things have changed since I last played this. Uh, since I last played huge settlement battles, but I say this every let's play the the um, the Great Britain let's play the Sweden let's play. I am often very much plagued by lag in these, but we shall see. We shall see if the odds are in my favour today. You can have these guys around here just to flank this entire section of wall. You guys are here. Ignore the mortars there. Swords will be quite useful for, obviously. Sieging. We have my elephants on the general. Cavalry, you're going to defend the right flank of the mortars. Let's do this. Come on. They have cannons on their walls to start with. Garrison troops. No, I don't want to really go kind of... Well, we'll find out. We'll find out because we've got another army coming in. Let's, uh, let's move in, men. Let's see if we can't shoot some of these blackguards off the walls. Because they've still got 500 odd men in their units. I don't benefit from that. I'll try and push him with these guys as well, start shooting the enemy down. Can, of course, scale the walls. Grappling hook. Um, I think we're going to try quick climb, actually. Take them out. 
while my men move forward. Obviously, we have reinforcements, so we should, he says, be okay. I should move my cavalry back a little bit. So the hill protects them. Quick lime! On your faces. You guys are being targeted, but you can't fire yet, so you need to move forward even more. Go, 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 go. I've just seen the same happening with this force here. Just move up, just move up. We'll find out if they can actually do any reasonable damage to the enemy. Quick climb is probably doing some pretty good damage at this point. Firing. I don't know if we're taking too many of them out or not. We'll see. My men continue to fire over here. Oh, they're taking some losses, which is good. Oh, they're coming out the gates. Interesting. But they're charging us. But my men are ready for the next volley, so this is going to hurt if they're firing up, which they're not. I wonder if we'll see the same thing happen here. Yep, yeah, they are looking to charge on out, it would seem. It works for me. Infantry, forward! <laughs> Sent these guys out here. Swing this unit round like so. Yard. Butcher them all. <laughs> the gates are open. If we're lucky, we can get in with Cav. Let's try and get in. Cavalry seem to have some pathfinding working for them. So let's see. It's because these guys are stuck here. And Kyo will be going straight on in. If there's Islamic swordsmen in here, which we don't want to get too tangled up with. And I'm going to give it a go. Let me go, Cav. Let these guys charge to try and clear the path. Oh, that's worked stunningly. Boom! Probably going to see my cavalry break, though. I mean, come on, this is... This is me and cavalry. We don't get along, do we, at the best of times. But we have nearly cleared this wall, in fact, which is just awesome. Those guys to stop firing. They've actually broken my men over here. Rather impressed by that. A unit of cavalry that's not gone through yet. Get over here. Infantry, mob yourselves in. Because the uh, Kemet Janissaries are on their way. These guys have huge swords. See if we can give them another attack order. See if that will help free them up a little bit. Stutter, 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 stutter. Charge! Go on, bring them down for me. Ooh, they've broken them as well. They are pummeling out with a fair few. This force may be better if I pull back, yes. Again, not sure where that accent's coming from. Cavalry, you can take him. Infantry, in you go, in you go, in you go, in you go. I'm just gonna pile on through, pile on through, pile on through. Cavalry, now is your time. Now is your time. Give me your solidest, most shattering charge. Come on, come on, amaze me, amaze me, Cav. That was pretty good. The charge itself took out nearly 30. The initial impact. We can break more of them. I'll be mightily impressed. Charge these guys in. How are we doing here? We've lost the cavalry. It has shattered, but that's because I've thrown it into a death pit.
You know, these guys will fire in a minute. Streaming on out, Cav. How's my Cav doing over here, speaking of? Right, going after those guys quite nicely. If I can pull the Cav back over here for another charge, though, that would be lovely. Alright. No mortars, stop it. I'm telling them just to fire at will, most likely. I doubt they'll actually fire. Because it's buggy. And this is the enjoyable lag we have. The stutter. No, they're not. Fire at will. Reinforcements! Cool. We're going to need them because we're losing our force. We've lost these guys over here. Oh, ow. Damn. Let's go up and take them down. Claim those walls. Oh, that's going to kill my own men. That is most certainly going to kill my own men. I'm stop firing at will. What we are going to do though is start scaling the walls with the rest of my troops. Because we cleared this front wall. So it's ours for the taking. Although I can't seem to get this unit up on the walls. I think it's already been occupadoed. Okay, we'll start climbing. Cavalry in you go. Where are my elephants? They've got loads of guys coming in here. We will assemble here and get ready to storm the walls from this side. Huzzah! So glad there's not many set many of their settlements that have walls. I'll move my mortars forward because then maybe we can use them to fire on the walls. Yeah, we're scaling. We're scaling on the walls. My Sikh warriors are doing okay for now. Go on, men, get him. Kill them all. My cavalry is once again being defeated here. The building has been captured, though. The gatehouse. Huzzah. These guys are still firing. Trying to eliminate the enemy. They're pretty tricky, and they're better than my troops. But it's fine, because I'm getting on the walls. They're taking me down as I climb up, though. They're giving it my best shot, though. Hindu musketeer spam for the Empress! You will claim these walls! In a stuttery, kind of slow-mo way. Oh, they're deploying their Mameluk cavalry. Target the infantry on the Mameluk. Oh dear, that's broken. That charge has shattered both my infantry units. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good, Bran. It's very not good. Right. You guys, cavalry around here, please. Infantry, start scaling those walls. Thankfully, my infantry are making some better progress. Charge them. They've nearly destroyed their own fort wall here. Which I can't help but think is a pretty bad idea. You know, just, just somehow. I'm not sure that's the best 
this plan. Not many of my men have been successful in climbing up those walls. They've all been broken. Or well, they've gone elsewhere. Oh dear, they're now being charged. This is going to break my entire force here. In fact, that whole wall has now collapsed and killed many of my men. Oh goody. Well, we now have a way in, at least. Fire up well. Charge them infantry. Charge what you can. Being broken on the walls. The Ottomans giving up a cracking fight. Ooh, that was deadly. Yeah, they're not going down without the last hurrah. We will whittle them down, though. Thankfully, I have another force ready to fight. A general in here. Form up, men! Selected the wrong general. Yeah, everything shattered and broken. They flee! Flee from the walls! Are broken. Finally, we managed to form a square. I think pushing off those Mamelukes, just about. Start the waves of cavalry fire, cavalry charge. How have we done over here? Done okay. That this charge over here has done pretty damn well. I'm going to charge them in the behind with my infantry and hope that that breaks both units here. Charge Islamic swordsmen from both flanks with my Lancer cavalry. Gatehouse has been captured. Oh, in we swarm, in we swarm. That's broken, that unit of Mamelukes. I'm not sure about the Islamic swords. We've captured this gateway, so that's where I'm going to go in. We're not going to hold for very long here. We've got a good charge on them, though. We're going to need more men. Oh, smashing, they broke. We had to pile on in here shortly. How are they doing? I've got them down a lot. Taken out over 300, um, well, nearly 300 of them. 250 odd at the moment. That's just the lancers there. But they're starting to waver now, but that's that's fine. Oh, that's close shot fire, but it's pinning them all into place. My infantry are now moving in here. We're going to try and take out their general. Go for the heart. Charging through my own men, I know, which ain't good. Oh, they're counter charging. Could well break this cavalry. That's my men just piling more and more in. If in doubt, throw them all in. We've got that first unit of Islamic Swords down really nicely. Camp, pull these guys away and hope they don't break. Though I'm not that confident that will happen. Charging my other unit of cavalry that. Oh god, these guys. Oh no, they broke me here. The Janissaries. I think a large part of our success here is down to the fact that my mortars are shelling hard. In true Marathon style, we'll charge these elephants in. Uh, 
Ah, oh, these guys broke. They might come back, though. Wait for more reinforcements to come in. Ah, uh, here we go. 180 of these guys. Up you go. Oh, did that unit of infantry... Oh, this unit did make it up the walls. Good. We've captured that gateway. Good. Down you go. Ah, good. These guys came back. Right, form up over here. You're going to flank on into their bums. Oh, the elephants are here. Marathon style indeed. We're going to pull them back though a little bit so we can get a better run up. Once that cavalry breaks, these guys are going to form up here. Form a square man, you'll take them out nice and easily. Right, cavalry, in you go before you break. Because I know you're getting shelled. Just clip them with a charge through my men. Lovely. Come on, men. No, come on. Come on, charge. It's the order I gave. Keep it going. Yes, yes. They're wavering. Come on. Break them all, men. Break. Yes. Huzzah! Right, now claim these walls infantry. Oh, you know, it tries to push up. Bless. This is the general's bodyguard, so we should have their general down in a moment. This unit of cav, though. Damn, fighting to the bitter end. They're going to break any moment, though. I'll try and pull them out to increase the uh, speed of that. Bring the cavalry around here and push them through, take out those artillery pieces. Right. Go. Go on, elephants. You haven't got the, the full wind-up that I wanted, but it'll do. Neither is the cavalry, but it should be enough if it's like the last time. Ah! Oh, my new general <laughs> has died. Like, the only loss. The only loss in this general's unit would of course be my general. Oh, they've shattered that, that unit though. Right, in we go. He had to go in true style. Deepak Jeldy would have wanted it so. Humble pair maybe not so much. In you go Cav. The Siege of Istanbul is near over. Actually, the leg wasn't too bad, but then they didn't have a, uh, didn't have a full, full stack, I don't think. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. What a t tusk toss. We want to go into the uh, Kemet Janissaries over there. Cavalry, you're going to go in here. And get ready to take out that artillery. You guys aren't going to shoot them, you're just going to charge them. You guys fired off a shot, but it's fine. Mob them! Charge them, elephants. Charge them. Charge them all. Well, these guys are breaking away, we'll have to send the cab in. Guess the general's not going in quickly enough. Boom! Lancer charge! Oh, what, you guys broke against cannon. As did my cav. That's not that impressive. Damn. Oh, artillery fire. Good thing my general's already dead, otherwise he may well have been then. Good thing I didn't like all that cav. <laughs> okay, mortars, you can stop firing now. We've pretty much got it that I'm killing my own men once more. Oh, whoa, these guys breaking as well. Now I've lost a general, so could be part of the cause. Uh, 
going to have a plethora of reinforcements now. The second army is ready to go. Hopefully most of my men have managed to pull back and escape so whole units won't be completely wiped out. Right, we've taken them out there. Come on, cavalry, reform. General reform. In you go. In you go. It's the... Take out the uh, the old demi cannons. They are old. Or their crews kind of over here. They placed stakes there, did they? This is um, Palasar, isn't it? Palasar, Pas Car, The Phantom of Maratha. Stand and dine with his men and officers in Istanbul this day. They have won. Literally won. Two units of Delhi horsemen. Nice. And that was the enemy general. Well, one of them. Come on, elephants. Nice. And with that... Victory. Istanbul burns. A heroic victory. Worthy of the great songs and tales of Maratha. Certainly look forward to reading Humble Pear's History of Maratha for this part down in the description. So we lost 3,883. Pretty much the same uh, as the deployed enemy forces. They took one of us down for every one of them. Those kills. Yes, by my lances there. Boom. Istanbul. Balls. A heroic death for him. I need to assign a new general to this force. Honour him. I know we're spending money we could do on repairs, but we now... Ah! Ah! Named after the great general. Well, <laughs> he's a 50, but um, I don't know if we could swing that. But um, I don't know how old Deepak Jeldi was, actually. But Deepak Bika. The new commander of Istanbul's garrison. And Pasalkar. And that Tepana Pasalkar, one of the few remaining at 80 years old. He looked up to the sky that night as the flames burnt and smouldered over the ruined north west wall of Istanbul and thought of Jeldi, resting now eternal. You can use that one if you want. Um, humble pair. <laughs> right. Well, we have Damascus. And we have... Um, Baghdad left to fight. We're going to go for Baghdad because I think that's going to be the more interesting one. Because I want to go in with these elephants. These war elephants. We, we may we may auto-resolve Damascus. Um, if it looks like we can do it. Because then we'll actually be able to complete this in one whole part as well. Which would be rather stunning. The battle's going to be very similar. Oh, no, they are actually going to surrender. Huh. I do this every time, thinking they're not going to surrender. They actually did. Oh, well, I wanted to do that because I wanted to use all the elephants. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't actually think that would happen. You were kidding me. You're kidding me. Well, we're down to well, we are fighting Damascus then. We, we, <laughs> we have to. Um... Right, what are we going to hit it? We've got light infantry there. They have a really strong garrison, in fact. In fact, I'm going to pull these guys up to help out. First of all, we're going to do that. Pull these guys around. Pull these guys around. We have some elephants in this army, actually. War elephants. So let's... um. Okay, rather than fighting another siege, then, let's fight this battle. With the war elephants. We've still got some war elephant charge action going. 
will fight this battle with the army that took Jerusalem, and then finish off Damascus. Oh, I really want to use I thought, you know, I'll do it just in case. I always do it just in case. They, uh, they accept the surrender, and they did. Right, whoever we go to war with next, there's a surefire battle of me charging in with war elephants. That is happening. A whole line of their infantry forming up. My elephants will launch forward from my lines and punch holes in them. Well, I mean, I guess in one way it means it isn't a too drawn out affair, Operation Autogon. We can complete it in this part. The Ottomans destroyed in one hour special. Um, but... I think that Siege of Istanbul was pretty good. Considering it's up against fortified... Excuse me, fortified walls, which is something I hate. Oh yeah, I think it went rather well. So, oh, I didn't save before this. We're gonna blatantly get a crash down. All my fault. Right, let's finish them. Destroy these Ottomans. Right. Well, I kind of want to flank around the city. They're gonna deploy. They're deploying over here. So yeah, we want to push around with these guys. Some there. Have my elephant line. I'm not going to throw my general in. No, 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 no. But we will th send in the mighty war elephants. They are ready. Just want to send a whole line of them in. Right. Heavy lancers. You're going to flank around on this right flank. Um, I think... Yeah, it's five and five. So you guys are going to deploy here. You guys deploy over here. We're going to have all the melee troops. Here, general here. Begin. Okay, yeah, as I thought. You guys swing around to here. Cavalry to here. Infantry. Forward. Run, 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 run. Melee troops. Run, 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 run. Elephants. You guys, oh, you guys need to be group four, that's why. Or formation four, I should say. To there. General to here. Right. Everyone's moving forward. We're getting ready to surround their position and knock them down. We've got 24 pound howitzers. We want to try and come up against their organ guns, but alas, we won't. Not unless we personally fight the next battle, but I think the destruction of the Ottomans in one whole part is too tempting for me. As I said, if you want to fight these battles yourself, or if you really, if you really feel that there's one that I, I, you know, in fact, I could, I could go and record some bonus episodes of me striking, of fighting that battle with the elephants, if you want to see them. So, if that's something you really want to see, then all you have to do is comment down below. I'm gonna charge him with their Mamelukes. We form square. going to charge them with me elephants. In they go. This guy's pushing in here. Send my lancers over here. Flank them. We've got Janissary Grenadiers. Have to keep an eye on them. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. Four 
Storm Squares. How are we doing over here? Nice. Elephant Annihilation. Of the enemy Mamelukes. Which means that this infantry group can move up. Go, 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 Elefante. Oh, my cavalry's starting to face some issues, are they? You have to form up there. Well, I don't want to charge these grenadiers because they'll be super tough. Not without my elephants to punch through. Or my melee troops. Which I'm diverting all over here. Go after the camel gunners. Infantry push forward. Hold them for now, elephants, and you go. I don't know how effective you're going to be. Oh, no, those guys are broken. These guys might be a bit lucky. Oh, no, they're getting wrecked. Very susceptible. We're moving all my melee troops in to cut these guys off. As you can see. Here we go. Come on. Bring them down, bring them down, bring them down. might charge me, but I'm about to charge you guys in the bum. Charge our artillery positions as well. In we go. These elephants have come back. Good. Into the Kurdish Hillman, if you wouldn't mind, although avoid that fence. Oh, whoa, those broke pretty quick. Janissary is really that strong. Damn. More charges. I need to shatter morale here before they shatter mine. Come on. I mean, it's bayonet versus sword, which normally doesn't end too well. is being proven case in point over here. Oh, wow. All just shattering. That whole flank shattered. I know these guys got good morale, but come on. Okay. Yeah, should have just stayed and shot them out. Charging on in was not the answer here. Hopefully these guys are godsends for Lancer Cavalry. Actually really good. Ah, finally we've broken these guys, they've shattered. Reinforcements! Huzzah! Oh wow, all up here. The one unit there, I can't believe all the Sikh warriors shattered on that. 
the camel gunners have got a lot to answer for on that, I would have thought. These Janissaries. Oh, they're tough. I mean, they're holding up uh, the whole of my force over here. Crap on a biscuit. Yeah, that was that was ill-timed, the uh, Seek Warrior charge. But we'll get them. It's sheer numbers. And the power of the mob. Love the hats. It's a fez. Nice. Right, they've gone. Cavalry, reform. Melee troops, what's left of you? Reform. Any infantry that's left, reform. Okay, that's what we got to show for that um, attack. Ouch would be uh, one thought. Another would be, let's fall back a bit. My reinforcements to enter the fray. That's all they got. Janissary Grenadiers, you know, they're so tough. Camel Gunners. I just take out a fair bit of their artists, because I just drove, dove in with all my infantry. Shouldn't have done that. Right, we need some good cavalry charges to break up these Janissaries. We need some more infantry. We've got light infantry coming in. First time these guys have been on the field, I think. In a battle. I fought. Hello. What's your range? Substantial. Good. Quick climb shot. On that. If you wouldn't mind. You're going to have to go a long, long way though to do that. Good loose formation or rather light infantry doctrine. Good. Or reform. Well, they've got a unit that's... Are they just broken? No, they've, they've definitely gone. Good. So they're reforming, I'm reforming. Reform your lines. Let's uh, jump forward a little bit until I've got a few more men in the field. If we can, let's quick climb. All three of you. Oh, fuck, well. Quick climb. The camel gunners would be lovely. Ooh, but they have other plans. They're coming toward us. On the right flank. Let's deploy the light infantry. My furthest mortar crew. It is. It is indeed. You can't hit the camel gunners yet. They may not be able to hit them at all, to be fair. I'm interested to see how these guys perform. Light infantry testing. Oh, look at that slaughter there. The bloodiest campaign in Marathon history. Perhaps. Perhaps. The war elephant's gone out of it lucky. The other ones at Baghdad that never that didn't have to be commanded by me. You don't know how lucky you were. Right, I'm gonna move forward, see if we can draw some of them in. Light infantry should be able to react to whatever they're trying to bring in toward us. Right, my mortars. The range are nearly able to fire. Right, I need to start grouping these guys now. Right, 
we're going to form me up a new line of infantry all the way to here. These guys, what's left of them, are going to filter through to the city over here and potentially draw those camel gunners to them. Infantry force, you're going to stay here and make ready. Right, these guys are going to be shot at shortly. Janissary Grenadiers, about to walk into my light infantry range. Oh, hello. Very nice. Yep, these guys are actually firing for once. Sweet. Oh, they're on regular shot though. You need to be on quick line. Oh, that's why you guys could fire. Damn. How much further these guys got to move then before their shots can hit? Ooh, quite a ways. All that explosive. Same amount. Okay, we'll just go normal shot then. Well, these guys will never make it. How have you guys done so far? You've whittled down a fair few of them. I like that. They're going to probably start firing soon. No, they're firing at other units though, which is good. Got more light troops coming in. They got hit a little bit. But their volleys, these volleys are pretty darn good. Alright, we have to move to a, yeah, this kind of tactic now. Thankfully these guys in light infantry doctrine. They can be placed in front of my main infantry line. Because they'll fire over them without taking any casualties, which is just swell. We've already whittled them down to half strength. Good. Although they're now under volley from the grenadiers themselves, which will cause some small little problems. Okay, though. Right. Cavalry, push down that right flank, drive hard. Oh, wow. Didn't see these guys go after my general. That's a dead general. I think you're a new general, though. <laughs> they will fight in the ancient Marathon way, though. No surrender. have go. You guys are being knocked down by my light infantry. Just doing a stunning job. We're going to be in trouble over here. Call my infantry round. And two of these guys. Take out those cannons. Well done, light infantry, though. Oh, I'm very pleased with you. A modern Marathon army for a modern empire. In you go. They've broken my general over here. To be expected. And these guys have acted as distractions for my troops to then form up. These guys are wavering. Light troops better form up here. Into the next cannon unit. These guys are pretty dead. I'm pretty sure three units of muskets are going to be more than capable of personally with personally with personally wishing them farewell. Mortars. I'll just tell you guys to stop now. It just gets embarrassing after a while. What? Why have you guys shattered? You had nothing to sh 
you're telling me an, an artillery crew managed to somehow shatter you? Oh, wow, guys. Come on. Hmm. <laughs> oh, dear. They'd be kicking their ass. Of course you would shatter against artillery crew. Of course you guys would run through these guys. It's fine. Just about recovered you. You guys act as the meat shield, ready for my Seek Warriors to charge on through. Nice. Protected by a volley. You guys charge as well. You guys charge. Light infantry. Oh, we're getting hit pretty hard. Those hillsmen are good. Come on, Cav. I need you done with that general's bodyguard. They're nearly gone. Come on. We nearly have this. Whoa, again, they break all my men here. Those grenadiers. Uber solid. At least these camels are getting wrecked now. Right. Into the Kurdish Hillman. You guys form up over here. Let's you take out the, the best troops, the Janissary Muskets. These guys have given us like our toughest fight in ages. But I knew they would. <laughs> That's why I had so many stacks. Of course, your charge will slow down to a trot at the last moment. But of course, it is the way. Into the city. They're hitting them hard there. What, they've broken my cavalry as well? How? I know they're going into barricades now, but come on, they're hillmen. Can't be that good, surely. Those guys broke before they even got to the lines. Where's your donculus? Oh, of course, a few of them would get caught on the fence. Ah, my general's dying. We must have elephant charge. That's two generals down this battle, I think. Come on. Slaughter them elephants. Show them the might of the Marathan Empire. That's what we wanted. Now, if they don't break after that, I don't know what will break them. That was a bloody good elephant charge. Finally, yes, these light troops doing the damage we so desperately need them to do. Yes, we've broken them. Good. Good. The Operation Autogon has been bloody. But soon now victorious. Come on, come on, come on, get round, get round, hit these grenadiers. Elephants, get yourselves round just in case I need you. That elephant charge was nice. Shame about the general. Uh, such is life. Come on, light troops. Finish them off for me. Fire, 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 fire! Away!
You are kidding me, they broke as well. That is so wrong. What are you guys, you're Kurdish Hillmen. You can't be that good. There's 50 of you. No, I keep losing generals though, so that's all going to have a multiplier effect. They have broken anyway. Thankfully, the light troops are pretty darn good. I'm going to point blank range, then we don't need them in loose formation anymore. Their light infantry doctrine, rather. Just give me a nice shot from here. Yeah, they've broken. Boom! We have victory! At last. End the battle. A heroic victory. A bloody battle. Many a general lost their life. We'll find out if there's any more phantoms, though. Because often, a fallen Marathan general returns as a phantom. The unkillable. Although it looks like we've uh, got a fair few losses there. 3,317 lost. Have a bit of friendly fire. They're fleeing away. Trait gained, trait gained. Oh. Well, in fact, they've all become... <laughs> They've all become phantoms. They're all clearly just wounded. Because they're all still alive. And with this... Oh, with this. In fact, we're going to quick save just because... Um, we had another quick save with me earlier. Make that that one. I don't want something like crash now, trying to take this last settlement of the Ottomans. And with that, their armies are gone. Operation Otto Gone is a huge success. The Ottoman Empire is destroyed. They have fallen. Utterly and completely. And... The Rabe's empire reaps the reward. 61% happiness. An economy that needs work, but even with extensive damage to our trade, we're now still earning 23,000. And our armies are in pretty good stead across the way. The glorious elephant army of Baghdad will be rallied. And thrown out our new enemies. So, look at that. I mean, look at that mini-map. It's glorious, that empire. Now stretches from the north, south of Russia. South of India. We control all... All... Everything east of Athens. Well, everything east of Istanbul, really, in that line be on a spar piece, but you know what I mean. If you turn and look east from Athens, it's all ours. And we've got an extensive amount of repairing to do, which we won't be able to really do until next turn. But we have had... What a turn. What an end turn. We've got to deal with the Barbary States sooner rather than later, because they've actually got some reasonable forces. We'll have to sail a force round and deal with them, or a couple. But we have annihilated, obliterated... The Ottomans. We can see here on the diplomatic screen, actually. The land we hold is rather impressive. I mean, can we see the, um, can we see, I want to see, like, stats. Uh, building browser lists. Objectives. We have 40 regions. Pretty darn good. How's our prestige? I'm surprised our military is not, like, insanely higher. How can na naval... Like, can it really make that much difference? Because surely I've got way more armies than these guys have, like Sweden does navy-wise. Or is it just because of, like, first rate means you've got instantly, like, a thousand... A thousand points. Let's see where we've got all of our soldiers. Look at that. Boom. We have a mighty, mighty army. Many, many regions. Moscow being our top earner. Six thousand three hundred and ninety per turn. Then Arcot. Three thousand eight hundred. 
and so on and so on and so on and so on. But that is where we're going to wrap things up for now, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed. Again, if you wanted to see more of those battles, um, then let me know. Maybe I can do them as bonus episodes, if enough you want them. But I, I hope, you know, we had two very large battles. The rest of them, it would have been copy-paste, copy-paste, copy-paste across most of them. The objective was to annihilate the Ottomans in one term. The fact we've been able to do that in one part, hour and 15 minutes or so, jolly good. Um... But yes, the save will be in the description, so if you want to try this yourself, maybe fighting all the forces, all the armies, then good luck to you. Let me know how it goes. If you feel like recording it, do that as well. Very interested to see how you guys do. We need to send forces into this army. In fact, we can do them all. I know what, what units they are that are holding them all back. It is, of course, the mortars. There we go. So that now helps us with that. We're going to have to do a lot of damage control, though. It will take several turns to sort out the Empire. But we'll address that in part 46. So until next time, I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride in joining the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, XMG, Green Man Gaming, and GT Omega Racing. Don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed Operation Auto Gone. And subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, ciao for now.